Hi there, this is Chris from Sewing Brittily and in this video we're going to be looking at an alternative way of coiling a line. This is the traditional way to coil a three strand line. You get the line and with your dominant hand you lay the line over your hand and every time you put a new coil on there you have to twist the line to keep it all neat and tidy. Then when you get to this stage, you're ready to finish it off. You can take a few turns around the top of the coil and then come through the middle. There you go, that's ready to hang up. Now this is a pretty way of doing it. It does look good, but in my opinion, it's not the best way of doing it. And this is why, if I'm in a hurry to use this, I put it on the deck and then this is representing a block. It has a tendency to do that and it'll get jammed, causing you problems. This is an alternative way of coiling a line, which isn't as pretty, but I believe it's actually more useful. You start in the same way and with your dominant hand, you just lay the line over your hand like that and you don't have to twist it, you just lay it over one side then the other and you keep repeating that process until you reach the end. There we are, then you can finish it in the same way, take some turns around it, push a bite through and then there you are, this is ready to hang up or put in a locker. The difference is that this isn't full of twists. So when you undo this, I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm just gonna throw it on the deck and pull it through that shackle. There you go, straight through. No twists, no kinks, no problems. This method works just as well with braid on braid, so halyards or sheets. Exactly the same method. Ready to go. So I'll run through this with you again slowly. If you've got a shackle or an eye, you start with that end. You lay it over your hand and then you just start to lay loops on top of your hand like that. There's no twisting involved. It's very simple, very quick. And this is inspired by my mountaineering days. I used to climb mountains before sailing, so that's why I do it this way. And then in a similar fashion to the original type of coil, you just take some turns around the top, push a bite through, and then take the bitter end Go through the bite and there you are. You've got a little tail there. You can tie that up or you can just put this in a locker like that. If you tie it up when it's wet, it will dry quite nicely like this and prevent mold. And if you throw it in a locker, it will stay like this until you get it out next time. While we're on the subject of lockers, rather than just throw your lines into a locker, how about putting a line up across the back of the locker and then all you need to do is this. In this way you've got all your lines organised and if you want to be really particular you can write on the end of the line exactly how long it is. Once you do that it takes no time at all to look in the locker, see exactly the line that you need, untie it and off you go. There is another way of doing this, you can do figure of eights but I find that this is a little bit simpler and quicker to do and it gives you the same results. So that's it then, let us know your opinions on this, do you like this method, do you not? Leave a comment below, subscribe for more informative videos and we'll see you in the next one. Until then, ciao!